Greetings everyone. We are group number 12 and this presentation is based on a study conducted by researchers from the AMAL department and Auton Lab in Carnegie Mellon University. The authors of this article explore different regression models based on cluster-wise linear regression. This article in fact covers a lot of machine learning concepts that we learned throughout this course. We start this presentation by giving some intuition that motivates the cluster-wise linear regression CLR problem and why it's important to solve. Next, we will briefly cover the state of art solutions for CLR followed by the author's proposed method. Then, the application of CLR to different datasets is illustrated in the experiment section. The demo part shows how the Python code is downloaded and run. Finally, the presentation is concluded in the recap section. To generate predictions for unseen data, one approach is to fit a regression model to the training dataset and then use it to predict the score of unseen testing points. Let's consider the following dataset. A simple approach is linear regression. However, it can be interpreted that a single shared regression model for all data points is not sufficient since the dataset has different correlation patterns in different regions. So, wouldn't be a better approach to have different regression models for each of those subsets which show different correlation patterns? In this context, cluster-wise linear regression aims to find partition of data into a number of clusters such that each cluster has its own linear regression model. The previous example is recasted to an optimization problem with the following objective function. We intend to learn the clusters and the optimal hyperparameters W and B in which the linear regressions fitted to each of the clusters minimize the overall mean square error of the whole data. The optimization is achieved such that every data point belongs to a single cluster where the clusters are disjoint, in other words, none overlapping. Assume we have a dataset X with N data points and D features where the labels Y are known. We attempt to partition the data into k clusters such that the overall mean square error of all regressors is minimized. In fact, identifying such patterns and relationships would also be useful for prediction purposes. The figure on the left shows CLR applied to a dataset generated from three different linear regression models. Looking at the figure on the right, what if the target labels are hidden? And each data point with feature X has different score values belonging to different classes. Then, there is no easy way to assign CLR labels to the incoming test point because CLR clusters are based on the correlation between X and Y, which is not available for test points. Thus, two approaches can be found in literature to solve this labeling problem. One approach to overcome the missing label problem is using the k-plane regression. This method combines k-mean clustering with linear regression, where the unknown label can be obtained by associating each point with the closest cluster centroid. The other approach is the weighting strategy, which assigns a certain weight to each cluster. Then, the final prediction function is the weighted average of the predictions from all cluster models. However, the aforementioned methods are only heuristics. For that, the authors propose two approaches that utilize the feature information of the dataset to predict CLR cluster labels. The first approach presented in this paper is the hard CLR, or the k-means regularized CLR. In the initialization step, the data points are associated with random cluster labels. For the first step, the linear regression problem is solved for every cluster CI. In the second step, each data point is reassigned to the best cluster such that the following objective function is minimized. The first term is the linear regression squared error loss, while the second term denotes the regularized k-mean clustering loss. Inspecting the objective function, if gamma tends to zero, this yields the squared error of the linear regression. However, if gamma is very large, this produces the vanilla k-mean clustering problem. Furthermore, the objective function can be generalized by substituting the linear regression model by any regression model fx and modifying the cost function to accommodate constraints s in order to preserve the invariant that all points from one 
constraints that have to go to the same cluster. In the training phase, k clusters are created using the training data. Thus, in the testing phase, the new incoming test point should be assigned to one of those clusters. If I note which cluster I belong, I can use the corresponding regressor to predict my score. But what can lead me to my cluster? The first proposed approach is predictive CLR, or CLRP. This approach learns a labor prediction model LX from the data. For example, this model can be any classification model, such as random forest or logistic regression. The same approach can be extended by learning multiple models. The models then yield the probabilities of each cluster. After that, the prediction is obtained by averaging the results from all cluster models. The second is constraint CLR or CLRC. This is a straightforward approach where no learning is involved. New data points are clustered based on user-defined constraints. A constraint is a relevant feature that is selected or extracted. Thus, points satisfying that constraint will be assigned to a certain cluster. In this example, the constraint feature is chosen as the city. According to the paper, the authors noticed that running CLR with different random initializations would often produce drastically different cluster assignments, which leads to a high variance of the prediction results. To lower this variance and improve the final accuracy, the authors proposed to build an ensemble of CLR-based models averaging the prediction results across different random initializations. The ensemble of CLR can be used to remedy the above problem. The authors evaluate the proposed techniques on three UCI ML repository datasets, which are the Boston Housing, Avalon, and Auto MPG datasets. Furthermore, they conduct an experiment on the Health Insurance dataset, which is a quite large dataset that contains medical claims of patients from a particular health insurance provider. The authors implemented their prediction methods using Python 2 and the Python code including all the experiments described in this paper is available on GitHub. We downloaded the official code using this link in order to reproduce the results in the paper. All the algorithms mentioned in the paper are implemented using scikit-learn based Python API. Since the implementation was completed 4 years ago, we experienced some compatibility issues with the code. We used PyCharm to run all the experiments for all datasets using a batch script provided by the authors. We replaced the commands related to Python 2 environment to Python 3 first. It is important to note that the authors did not create folders for results on GitHub directory, which is indeed required to put the experiment results obtained from the code. We also recognize that some functions and typecasting strategies from NumPy framework used in the code are deprecated, so we replace them to their up-to-date versions. For each dataset, we run the code separately and reproduce the corresponding experiment results. At the end, we obtained four result files including all the variations of controlled experiments for all UCI machine learning datasets which are sorted by their mean squared error performance. When we compared the obtained results with results provided in the paper, we saw expected consistency between results for all the experiments mentioned in the paper except the health insurance dataset which is not available online. Table 1 contains the coefficient of determination, also called R squared, which tells us how well the regression line predicts actual values and prediction accuracy results for both weighted and non-weighted versions of the algorithms. When we look at the accuracy results, as gamma increasing, we can see that the accuracy of both methods goes up. This is expected because k-means regularizations makes clusters more separable, but at the same time it counteracts CLR objective which results in worse linear regression fit inside each cluster. We can also notice that CLRP has higher label prediction accuracy when gamma is relatively small which results in significantly better final prediction models. This provides a clear evidence that learning to label prediction function from the data is a better strategy than using a heuristic label prediction approach of the k-plane regression method. As a recap, it is worth to remember the informal goal of cluster-wise linear regression is to find clusters with different correlation patterns. 
Naturally, identifying such a relation can also be useful for prediction purposes. However, we do not have target values for test data, so there is a need to determine cluster labels for test data before the predictions. In this context, the authors presented two different methods based on k-means and weighted average. Both are problematic because of their heuristic-based natures. So, in this study, the authors show that two different new methods they propose, predictive and constraint CLR, outperforms existing methods by utilizing a new optimization function and also by data constraints. Thank you for your listening.